Hi everyone, this is Angel Arts, and welcome to the final episode of the final season of the final Telltale game. This is Let's Play Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season, the final episode, like I just said. Um, I started playing the original The Walking Dead, season one of Telltale's The Walking Dead, back in 2012. So it's been seven years. I've been playing these games for seven years. It, I, I played my first Telltale game several years prior to that. So, so the, believe it or not, The Walking Dead, the first season, was not the very first Telltale game I ever played. Because before that, I also played um, Strong Bad's Cool Games for Attractive People because I was a huge, or still am, a huge Homestar Runner fan um, and didn't realize until I started playing The Walking Dead that they were the exact same company that played the Strong Bad game. And I really enjoyed the Strong Bad game a lot. I might, just for, just if I, if I feel like I really miss Telltale that much, I might see if I can still get... If that game is still available even though Telltale closed down. I don't know. But anyway, back to The Walking Dead. This is it. This is the culmination of Clementine's story. And Telltale, of course, has a very special spot in my heart. Regardless of how you feel about their games, especially, you know, after the original Walking Dead, if you liked the games all that much or if you felt they did the exact same thing over and over again. And despite what um, happened with management um, in The Walking Dead, that part, of course, I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like how management uh, dealt with and treated their developers and their software engineers, and cause I'm a software engineer myself. But what I'm trying to, but I guess what I'm saying is Telltale, as in the entity, as in the people that were able to tell these stories and make these games and give us, myself at least, a lot of joy, not only playing, but sharing your experience. This is what got me live streaming. This is what got me really started on live streaming on my channel on a normal basis, because I, I am not. I enjoy live streaming, but I wouldn't want to do it all the time, you know, and these episodic games that I can just play in one sitting for a few hours and have a distinct beginning and an end, you know, as opposed to just randomly deciding, oh, okay, well, I'm playing this 100 and somebody hours, 100 and something hour game, I'm just going to arbitrary end there. I don't know, like, it might not make sense to you, but my brain doesn't like doing that if I'm not live streaming the same game consistently, but this is a game, these Telltale games, because they're episodic, I can consistently play them live streaming because they're divided up into chunks. But anyway, that's just how my mind works. So this is really, really bittersweet for me. Um, I'm really looking forward to, um, to playing this game and I'm really excited to have you guys here to share this experience, this final experience with me. It's it's I, I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you guys for taking the time to um, not let me play this game alone. <laughs> so if you're joining in um, and you haven't said so in the chats already, please say hi so I can say hi to you back. Welcome to the live stream, I Fall Into Fantasy. Welcome back to the live stream, Liz Draconis. Um, welcome to the live stream, Gardner Wayne, 82. Clementine, welcome to the live stream, my dear. Mikey, welcome to the live stream. I w was almost positive you were sick of me after yesterday. Can only take can only take certain amount of feels in your quota, but apparently not. Um, let's see. It's just going to be terrible, all in all. Oh boy, I'm so ready for the finale. You did this yourself. I know I did it too. Um, welcome to the live stream, Kiwi. Uh, more, more, more feels punishments, AQE. I have cookies as my emotional support. Oh, cookies. Too soon. Too soon. 
Um, welcome to the live stream, Amber. You know this means I've been watching Angel Ops for seven years. Oh, really, Clementine? Oh, the memories. Oh, welcome to the live stream, Tekken enthusiast. I'm a fan of your The Walking Dead Let's Plays, and it's cool to actually catch one live. Oh, thank you. I'm really bummed that you only get to catch one of them live, but, you know, better one than none, I guess. Um, I did fall in for the games of TT because of you, but I'm not as long as a fan of you started 2015. That's still, that's four years. That's a good chunk. Um, let's see. Cool. All right. So, um, let us, let's, I guess I should probably talk about my thoughts before I start this game. Just give people a, a few more minutes. A few more minutes I'm um, but I am going into this um, being full aware like I'm not I'm not naive and ignorant about this full aware that it is most likely very possible most likely Clementine could die by the end of this episode um, I mean it's I, I, I'm pretty sure that is a huge possibility. Um, I'm not going to promise going into this. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to get the best ending or the happiest ending if such one exists or the least sad ending. I'm not going to promise any of that. I am just going to play the game and just go with the experience and just whatever happens happens it's not it may not necessarily be the happiest ending but it'll be my ending it'll be the way that my the walking dead storyline from beginning to end since 2012 ends and i'm just going to accept it for what it is warts and all and just be so appreciative of the experience, be so appreciative of all the people along the way, whether you've joined me in this live stream, whether you've joined me in other live streams, whether you've commented on my videos of the Telltale's The Walking Dead series, whether you've commented on the Let's Talks, all of the Let's Talks discussions and analysis of each of the Walking Dead episodes. I should have another one more. Let's talk The Walking Dead um, after this one, obviously. And um, yeah, and, and most importantly, appreciative of all of the developers and writers and voice actors, everyone on the production team that made these games possible and also made these last two episodes possible to play because of the whole mess that happened. This is very unusual. This is not common at all. Most of the time when companies like this get shut down and their games are unfinished, they stay unfinished. And, you know, it's, it's so, it's one of those things where we want to keep, I want, you want to keep the well being of the Telltale developers it's more important for them to get the rightful compensation for the work that they put in. Hopefully by now, most, if not all of them, have been able to find new jobs for themselves. That, of course, is number one. More important than the happiness of the fans, I have to say, because the fans did lose their jobs. The fans aren't worried about whether or not they're going to feed their kids and their other dependents. You know, we'll be okay. We'll be kind of so sorry about it, like sore about the fact that oh I'm never going to get my game to finish and that's terrible but it's not as terrible in the grand scheme of things as what happened to all of those developers like bottom line for me so the fact that um, people were able to still um, work it out so that the fans could be could have this chance to finish this game is extremely generous it's unnecessary 
but and because it's unnecessary, it's extremely generous. And I just want to say how grateful and how thankful I am to everyone who was involved in making these two, last two episodes possible, because it didn't have to happen. Um, but we're grateful that it did. So, um, we're ready to have what little emotional stability we have and throw it in the wind. I know I am. I do wonder if they'll put in multiple endings to finish the series off. I put an overall score of how AJ turns out. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm hoping that things with AJ go well, too. Um, the Telltale discussion we did a while ago was so much fun and learned stuff I wasn't aware of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Evan. Welcome to the live stream, Hocus Pavis. I love your name, Hocus Pavis. That's super cool. Can we all just agree that Skybound did an amazing job by giving us the last two episodes? Yes. Yes. Th great call out. Thank you, Skybound, for doing this. Thank you. And I'm hoping that I, what I like about it, too, is it sounded like they were able to pull, is to get, um, bring back the developers who had worked on this game. Um, and I'm assuming he, they paid them. I'm assuming they paid them for coming back to finish up these games. And even for those developers who came back, it's hard to come back to this game after being going through the experience of being fired or let go, basically. Um, it, could, it, it, it could easily and probably did bring back sour memories, bittersweet memories, because part of you wants, I can imagine, really wants to see this game finished and so you can finish what you're started not only for the fans but for yourself to finish what you started but it also can open up like fresh wounds that are still there um so again mad props to the developers for being willing to do it to do this despite that despite opening fresh wounds um for a full gratitude to Skybound, apparently they took it on expecting it would make a loss, but feeling it was right to finish the story. Yeah. Good job, Spygun, putting in the effort to get the series done for the fans. Yes. All right, we're going to start this, folks. Take Us Back. Take Us Back is the name of one of the closing credit songs of one of the episodes of... of the Walking Dead. It's one. It's a fan favorite. Um, my two personal favorite end credit songs in the series were both in season two, I think, which was "Remember Me." I love that one. "Remember Me" and "In the Water." Those two. But I remember "Take Us Back" as well, and "Take Us Back" was probably my third favorite. So here we go, guys. This is it. Last time on The Walking Dead. Oh, it's AJ. Since I can remember, Clem has always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. Sometimes. I always listen to Clem. Always. But I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She's not always wrong every time either. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. Yeah. That doesn't feel right. It's not she supposed to. a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. And when Clem told me to shoot Lily... Once. You didn't have to shoot her multiple mad. times. So mad. You shot her several times. I don't... I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know what Clem knows either. I remember all the rules. And the first one... Is never go alone. Yeah. So Lily is dead. That is uh, probably for the best in the grand scheme of things. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to feel right, Clementine. I think it would be a problem. There'd be something wrong if it didn't feel 
It, there would be, feel, there'd be something wrong if it did feel right. So it's actually a good thing that it doesn't feel right for you. Oh, it's right after the explosion. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, the ship. My hat. No, no. Of all the things. Hang on. I'm coming. Clementine dying is one thing, but losing her hat, that's a whole new level. Whole new level of, oh no. Rip, hat. First decision, save AJ or save the hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you've got some plot armor for the next 30 hour, I guess. Aim using your mouse and press the circle. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now what? We need to find a way down. This ship isn't gonna stay afloat much longer. I will go down with this ship. There! We can yeah. ride down from there. We have to get there first. We've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. Oh. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. Come on, you can do this, AJ. Just run and jump. I've got this. I got this. I got this. You gotta get this. We do when we're scared. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very short episode. We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't. There's that's my boy. Come on, Clem. Clem, that gotta get moving. It's gonna snap. 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 Oh. Get to the pier. I'll meet you there. I'm not going to leave you. There's nothing you can do. I'll find a way there. Now go. Beautiful. Good job, girl. gosh I did something wrong already I didn't see the the um I didn't see the prompts I just I, I pushed a oh we're starting this again okay Come on, Clem. that's the great way to start the first episode it's tough because the prompts are off to the left, and I'm trying to like pay attention to what they're telling me, but I'm also trying to pay attention to what's happening on the screen in front of me too, so I'm not always seeing right away what I'm supposed to be pressing, when I'm supposed to be pressing it. Okay, so I go left, which is what I was doing.
Oh, and then I'm supposed to go right. Okay. I didn't see the arrow the first time. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. There we go, there we go. I was trying. They are not pulling any punches. They're not pulling any punches. You gotta move super fast. You gotta move really fast to find whatever the heck you're supposed to be clicking on. Okay, grab that. Then he walks by. And then you have to. Come on. There we go. Then you pretty much have to anticipate at that point. Good aim, AJ. Good aim, Clementine. You have Marlin's bow. Oh, that'll be helpful. Come on. Oh, Marlin. This feels so long ago. So, we survived, but how about everybody else? <sighs> Mikey, I'm rolling as bad as Kiwi today. <laughs> Sorry, Kiwi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, punches are not being pulled today. Most streamers die here because they take the arrow and instinctively aim up rather than down to the foot. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes sense. I die too like that. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Mikey said, oh no, Hark, why? It's my way of coping. It's my coping mechanism, Mikey. <laughs> it's, I'm still recovering. Still recovering from yesterday. I already saw four Let's Players and just one did it right on the first try. Yeah, I was not in the 1% or the 25% in that case. Hoping a good number of the kids survived. I didn't see anyone else on the boat. Who's that? Oh no. Thank you, whoever that was. Oh. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. I'm really sorry about your tongue. But at least you're still alive. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. Oh. Get the fuck off oh. We gotta save Violet. There we go. Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but I'm good. Fuck. You, I was... I was so afraid you... Me too. But we're okay. Well, I did kind of twice. We're okay. But it's okay. Time turner and all that stuff. Oh. Lou. Uh, 
Poor Lewis. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Clem! Oh boy. They'll, they're able to keep them distracted. Oh, yay! Oh, thank God. You guys made it. Yay, Omar and the rest of them. There's more walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! We brought the cart around. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't burn the horses. As Lucky Jack would say. Burn the horses. What? Don't you think that the zombies... Oh! Oh! Stay down! Focus on the zombies, or the walkers. Yeah, me. That's what, like I said, focus on the walkers. You should have listened to me. No, get away from her. Now, if Minnie joins our group, I'm still worried about whether we can actually trust her 100%. And my axe. This is callbacks to Lee. Callbacks to Lee and his axe. Oh, oh, now she's got herself bit. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, Ruby. Go for it. Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. Can I see an opening? I'll make a break for it. I see you on the other side. <laughs> Damn right. All right. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo. That's my boy. Okay, there's Lewis and the rest of them. Oh. Shoot the walkers. Gotta protect these kids as much as I can. Is there gonna be a choice in weather? Oh! Oh! Oh my! Minnie's not doing so hot. Clementine! You're blaming me for this? You! you did this to yourself, girl. Shit. I had nothing to do with this. You know, besides the whole ex exploding the whole ship thing, planting that bomb, shooting Lily, you know, besides that, your knife is missing. You cannot fight the herd. Oh, here's my Resident Evil 2. It's probably not the best way to go. Like Resident Evil 2 dodging skills. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Whew. All right, that could have been so much worse. 
Are we allowed to say differences in another playthroughs when they happen in the stream? Uh, after the fact. After that part is over, if you really, really want to talk about what would have happened, it's okay for you to do that. But after the fact. Hey, James, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad James is still alive. For now. For now. He's, in, he's determinate, so for now. We have to move. We'll have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! <laughs> okay. Ten, go on. I saw his eyes when he did it. I saw the bloodlust in them. Yeah, well, you're still alive to tell the tale. About? Nothing. Go. Sorry, man, but at least you have the luxury of being angry with me. At least there's that. The, uh, the alternative would be a little different. We're safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. Make a torch. Making their way through. If they get in here, I'm going to have to kill them. I don't want to do that. I didn't want to. I don't want to have you do things you don't want to do either. But fortunately, we all have to do a lot of things we don't want to do. Unfortunately. Clem, did you did you see Minnie out there? I did. I didn't see her. Either. But I have to tell him the truth. It doesn't mean she escaped. I saw her on the beach. She was bitten, Ten. So, she'll go to the next place with Sophie. They can be together. That's good. I think that's good. I think that's good. For everybody's sanity, that's pretty much what we have to hope for. Nice in our room. Just have to get home we're, first. Well, I was like, it's like we're we're desperately trying to find an escape. Ooh, shiny! We can put this in our room. <laughs> Priorities. Look at woodpile. All right, so that is what we're gonna do to set things on fire. I'm gonna make sure I talk to AJ. It's so dark in here. I'm working on it. It doesn't feel safe. There's too much danger outside. I wish I had a gun. We'll be out of here soon. Pick up a toy. Another one. Hmm. Mushroom or gotta cauliflower. Before AJ can play with it. Yes, gotta pick up stuff. Gotta pick up stuff. These are getting stranger. Calypso cauliflower. These are getting stranger. Cloth. Can't burn this without something to hold it up. Okay. Everybody's just standing around while Clementine's actually doing stuff. Some things never change. Damn it, it's all too wet to burn. Okay. <sighs> all right. Hey, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta, we gotta find something to help us cross. Oh boy. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. Oh. Hmm. Rocks are too small to walk across. But they might stop something flowing downriver. 
there was a a walker in a inner tube. Okay. They might stop something from No way we're swimming through that. Are you gonna find a way across the water? I'm working on it. Yeah, I will. Um. Not sure where it goes, but it's our only option. I yank that out of there. It would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. That's perfect. Could work as a bridge. Let's do that. Nice. Do that. All right, let's go, okay. people. We just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. Oh, ten. Ten. Thank you. Let's go, people. Ten. Out of the way. Burn. Burn. Boy, 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 boy. What the? Oh gosh. Eye on the prize, eye on the prize. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the live stream, Cakey Cakey. Shale would approve that crystal. Okay. Now can we go home? I've got decorations. I've got decorating to do in my room, okay? So very important. I wonder if Ten would have been hurt if uh, James wasn't there to, to protect him. Where do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh, this is not this is not the it's time, not James. Let's James, why are you waste? What are you doing, Bub? Uh, James. Almost this is where things get a little. Almost after that, I break your leg. Wow, okay. You make him a monster. James went from zero to a hundred. Not any further. Clouch! You're coming with me. What happened to not wishing anyone harm? It has its limits. You fell. Right, so then you understand yeah, exactly what I did what I did. Then you understand that. <sighs> you can't have it both ways, James. You can't have it both ways. You did this. He you was protecting him himself. You were kidnapping him. Yeah, that part I don't condone. Is this 
this what you wanted? No. A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel. Look at me. Tell me this is what you wanted. You don't get to judge us. You see what she did to our friends. It's easy to judge when you don't have the facts. I'm not the only one handing out judgment. Only his is fueled by rage, Clementine. Rage he's carried for a long time. Too long. And I will take care of it because he's my responsibility, not yours. It's not up to you. It's my responsibility. I liked killing. It made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. Well, that's going to be that's a problem. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Maybe ever. I know you don't mean that. AJ, come on. I know you don't mean it. If I shout it, will you believe me then? No, I just think that you, when you shout it, that means you're angry. You've realized you lost it. Stay out of this, or I swear I'll claw your fucking eyes Neither out. Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it, and I'm not going to feel bad about it. We cannot have this conversation right now. Can we escape back to the house? Say I don't mean this, but I'm only doing what you always say. You always said surviving was the most important thing. No, decorating is the most important thing. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> Killing Lily made us safe. It did. There's nothing wrong with life. E emptying half the clip doesn't make us safe, AJ. That's a waste of bullets. You can't have it both ways either, AJ. Listen to this. You think you can change him? Do it then. Talk to him. Yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna I'll be able to change him overnight. It's gonna take time. This didn't happen overnight. It takes time. What 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 he became didn't happen overnight either. I'm not gonna stop, Clem. I I'm not gonna let people that wanna hurt us just walk around. It's not what I'm asking you to do. You tell me to stop and expect me to get Survival it. isn't everything. You You're never killing them. You, know you still can't me. like it. I know this world is hard. For us, for you especially. And killing, it's almost unavoidable these days. Having to do it, having to let you do it. We've learned we have to live with it. But you can't ever like it. I don't know if I should have said I like it. Maybe I don't know the right words for what I feel. Aren't you glad Lily's dead? You wanted me to kill her. Aren't you glad I did? Glad's not the right word, either. That's not the right way to, to put it. It's... It's complicated. James, you gave me a minute all so far. <laughs> don't give me that because, sass right now, James. Because... Because why? This isn't about me. You took it too far. When I asked you to shoot her, she was a threat. And yes, I'm glad that threat's gone. That's but, what I've been saying. But you kept going when yes, you down. Yes, thank you. That's a difference. You kept going even when you knew it was too far. That's different. Exactly. Thank you, game, for letting me say that. You weren't happy firing that gun. You were angry. Yeah, that's the difference. Angrier than I've ever seen. James, your, your pacing is really not helping here. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. Haven't you seen his face? Didn't you see how his face... Gosh, darn it. Is it really going to come down to this? Oh no, that look in his eyes. James, I will defend myself if I have to. James, neither are you. We hear you. You just don't understand who we are. I 
understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence, death. What do you think you were just doing just now? But it's like you won't let him. It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans, not walkers. James, this philosophy of yours this philosophy is what has kept me human like right now any of us human you can't force it on other people it, it takes more than words you can't just talk people into being peaceful you think i don't want a life like that for aj for myself god i'd love to live in a world where i didn't have to worry about killing or dying but that's just not how things fucking work not yet. And what you're doing now isn't going to change that. James, we want the same thing. You just don't realize that we want the same thing. But we're not the I... bad guys here. Maybe. We're not the bad guys. Clem? What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. I know, but we can't force it on him either. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. You can trust me to decide when it's right. Like when you did with Lily? I don't know if he's ready. That's the thing. I want to trust him. But like, it's this is not going to happen overnight. Like, I don't think I myself can trust myself that I know who is good and who is bad. Like, you know, like... Going from what he did with Lily just moments ago and to say, oh, I completely trust you, like, that doesn't happen like that after one conversation. I, I, he's, he's moving in the right direction, but I feel like I would be lying if I said I completely, completely trusted his judgment right now because I didn't trust his judgment moments ago and... It's not that I don't love him if I don't trust him completely. It's just naturally it's human nature. And if like if you went from this spot where you emptied out a half a clip on Lily when you didn't have to, we had one conversation where it seemed like he was getting it. Going, being able to say, oh, I trust you 100% kid seems a bit unrealistic to me. Like that just doesn't... I, 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 if I was being completely honest with him, I right now, if he was my kid, I was being honest with him, I couldn't be like, like, you don't, you don't get to earn my trust like that. Like, if, if, if somebody does something that breaks my trust, they have to earn it back. And you can't just earn it back after one conversation like that. In my opinion, it doesn't matter who you are, especially if you're my kid, <laughs> especially if you're my kid. Um, if my kid does something wrong, depending on what it is they did, obviously, hopefully my kid doesn't end up, you know, shooting somebody and emptying half a clip and that's the thing that i like am, am wagging my finger at oh you shouldn't have done that hopefully it doesn't ever come to that but if my kid did something wrong seriously seriously wrong we had a talk about it and they're like okay now you can trust me to never do it ever again it doesn't work like that like you have to earn it back i don't know am i being too harsh what, what do you guys think? Am I, am, I being unre am I the one being unrealistic or unreasonable? What do you guys think? Um, oh, wait, everyone's infected, so never mind. I wonder if Abel put Richmond in his little speech because he knew Javier, or is it just an Easter egg? 
Um, it's interesting to think that AJ may not be able to convey himself. Clem may not have the vocabulary or the time to teach him the level of English that our modern world would expect. He makes do with more basic words. We trusted Clem with a gun and when she was at she was his age. Yeah, but I feel like Clementine is Clementine at that age, for whatever reason, I felt she had better judgment than AJ does right now. And part of it is probably because Clementine wasn't raised in this world. So I think that because she had exposure to the way things used to be and the way things are now, that just gave her extra knowledge. Um, and that's why her ability to judge things, I think, is a little bit more finer tuned than AJ purely because of the differences of experiences. So if I had to choose between trusting a gun with Clementine and trusting a gun with AJ, I'm sorry, I would trust Clementine immediately over AJ. I love AJ to death, but if I was gonna give the gun to either of those kids, I'm giving it to Clementine. 